Thursday, April 20th, 2023. It's still 2023. Well, I don't have to say the year. Do I have to say the year? It's 2023. It's not going to suddenly be 2024 or go back in time and be 2022 or 2021 or... Wouldn't that be something? That's another... I guess that would be um, an idea for a short story or something. I'm sure it's been done before by Steven Spielberg or Stephen King or one of the Stevens. Yeah, so... A story about... Time that shifts from day to day. You don't know where you end up. Kind of like Quantum Leap. The Quantum Leap had a whole intricate, I guess, premise in addition to the time traveling bit. But um, with this device and there's always something to solve and, you know, but just something different that you you don't know what's going to happen. It, it could be like a Twilight Zone episode, right? Where you wake up, it's one day in a certain year and then, and then it happens that you're somewhere else, but then it could be gradual, right? Like... Like it's like a dream at first. So you think you're dreaming, but what's happening is you're actually shifting until you're in this place or that, or the person is in this place or that, and they're, they're, until they realize that they can actually stay in, and not a back to the future type of thing either, where there's a DeLorean or there is um, some time device or whatnot. This is just, it's just happening. Because time is collapsing upon itself in such a way that it's affecting those who are uh, not clairvoyant, but it's something that's happening with the spirit realm, the spirit world. The spirit world is causing a shift where it wants to manifest itself into the physical or something. Yes, I'm onto something here. I think it would be beautiful. I think it would be most beautiful. But anyway, it's a new day. Just came back from the therapist. I won't say the therapist because it seems so impersonal. She's a beautiful woman. Uh, When I hear that I'm going to her, I immediately feel a sense of calm. And I think... I think she's a wonderful person. I feel at ease when I hear her name. When I hear her voice. It's... You know, it's... uh, Mellifilous. Yeah, she has that voice. She has a voice for what she does. She has a face for what she does. She embodies what she does. And so... I'm in a good place whenever I leave her office. I'm always in a good place. I, my heart is a light. There's a light that shines that wasn't there before. And if it was there, it was slightly dimmed, then it's illuminated even more when I leave her office. When I leave her office, I feel like a new person. It feels like one person goes in and then another comes out. I I don't know why I feel this way. I can't understand it. Uh, All of the, the, the physiology and the psychology behind it. But I just know that, and it's not, I don't know. Maybe she'll figure it out one day. Maybe she'll help me figure that out one day. Maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll get a... There, something epiphanous happens and then all of a sudden I'll just know, okay, this is what happened then. The only thing I can say in this moment when I'm sitting here, I went... Um, I'm at the Visual Arts Center. You know, at her recommendation. And I decided to walk down here. I said, you know what? It's a nice day. I'll walk back uh, to the... Uh, I'll walk back to the, to the hotel. Uh, I have my walking shoes on just in case I wanted to do that and I totally feel like doing it I feel empowered today my feet feel strong my legs are sturdy I'm ready I'm ready for whatever the day brings you know I I feel strong in my legs and strong in my mind my body's a unit that works together like a machine (laughs) Uh, a nicely oiled machine all of the it's oiled in all the right places and so, yeah, just just a couple. It feels like maybe my circuit board needs some dusting, but beside that, everything everything's working. The circuit board, you know, just something's a little, you know, just a little dusting here and there. It causes a, a trip, 
of, of, of a circuit here and there. Uh, you know, it, it may switch off when it should be on and on. But for the most part, I'm working. Right? Yeah, Visual Arts Center, there's some interesting exhibits there. Something different where nature is involved. It's called anoxic, an oxic, something or other. I have to double check. And it, yeah, it's an incorporation of materials from nature trees and soil and mosses and uh, fermentation going on there. I've never seen anything like it. At first, I was taken aback and I was like, okay, what's this? But it, I, I went to the, uh, I didn't take a picture of the one upstairs. Uh, of the display upstairs, but the display upstairs is like, it's like a, a representation of, of, of a swamp or, uh, but I saw it as something, instead of like a dark swamp, because of fermentation and, and, and decomposition and all, all these other things are happening simultaneously, there's this dark water and the place is surrounded by uh, dirt and, and, and limbs and you know, stems and leaves and flies and the whole bit. And I think for me, it was like it represented where I was. This is how I read into uh, what, what I was seeing. As I, as, I, as I came face to face, I'm coming face to face with my emotion, the emotions that I had. It's like the darkness of the water represents all of the, the stuff that I excreted in the last season. It's excrement. That's all that is. It's things I want far away from me. People, toxicity, all of it is in that bog, in the water, and it's sinking, it's shifting and changing, it's uh, coalescing with whatever's around that area, and it's being eaten by itself. It's decomposing into nothingness. And so this is what I saw. And so I had a very emotional experience with that exhibit. And I'm happy I came in here. I, I came in here for the uh, copies of, the, uh, of the, the magazine. But I'm leaving here with, um, I won't say a new sense of purpose. It's not that deep. But what's happened is that it's, it's opened something else inside of me. Between the session with my wonderful therapist and whose name I won't call just in case <laughs> I don't know what, where this um, particular journal entry is going to end up so I, I want for for anonymity for her sake I will not mention her name but between the, that wonderful session is this something just so cathartic about having someone who understands uh, uh, and help, and, and they're helping you through. They can see from the outside in, right? And, and they have all the, of the tools that you need. So when I'm away from her, I feel like I have the I have the toolbox, and it's not locked anymore because before it was locked. It was locked, and I, I had keys, but I couldn't figure out which key opened the toolbox. But like with her, and then this uh, wonderful counselor from uh, another uh, society for foundation. And same thing, it's another toolbox or it's a part of that. It's a, I had these, these keys, but I couldn't get in. I, which one was it? Sometimes I'd fumble, sometimes I'd sort of, okay, I thought it was this one, shake around the lock, nothing. And then, then it's gone. But anyways, now the toolbox is open. I know which key opens the box. Right? I know which key opens the box. The box is open. And then I can see all of the tools. Okay. For this one, I, I need a screwdriver. Phillips, flathead. Okay. This one, I need that. This one, I need that. It can be a tool. I say toolbox because I was thinking of, oh, maybe my, my, my painting, I could use that as a as an illustration but I prefer to use the toolbox because tools get things done I mean you know you need you don't necessarily need to if you have the right tool you can work more efficiently 
let's say if you needed to secure something to a wall or something like that uh, yes you could use I don't know pegs or something sometimes you need a nail where are the nails where are the screws sometimes it's better to use a screw a screw than a nail anyway just enjoying this brook right here it's uh, very soothing I, I, I'm renewed and refreshed reinvigorated invigorated reinvigorated replenished hmm. we need more replenishable people in the world people who help to restore rather than deplete yeah we need we need to delete the depleters <laughs> delete them from our lives delete the things that deplete I think I'll end there I think I'll end there because this entry has nothing to do with everything else but has everything to do with everything else all at once It's a good day.